If you are ready, we're going to start this meeting. We're here for the Monticello, Linwood, and Westside Area Water and Sewer Improvement Design Meeting. Brenda Oropesa is your project manager. If you are not already muted, please mute yourself, and you can unmute and ask questions after we're finished. If you want to go ahead and post a question in chat, if you'll look to the bottom right hand of your screen, there's a little chat icon. Click on that and you can type in your question. We'll take those questions first. Once we've answered those, we will welcome any of our call-in users to um, unmute themselves and ask the question. Brenda, you ready? Okay. All right, thank you for joining us this evening. Um, during today's agenda, we will be covering introductions of those involved with the design of this project, an overview of why we're doing the project as well as the areas being affected, and um, we'll finish off with some frequently asked questions. Your design project team includes myself, Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager. My um, phone number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is brenda.oropesa at fortworthtexas.gov. The engineering design consultant on this project is MAS Consultants um, with Angel Sanchez and Omar Ceresides leading the project. Project overview. So we're going to be replacing existing water sanitary sewer mains by an area by in an area bound by West Settlement Road to the north. University Drive to the east, West 5th Street to the south, and Virginia Place to the west. The streets and easements in this project are, are located in Council District 7 and 9, and landmarks in the area include several apartment complexes as well as condominiums, Monticello Park Tennis Courts, Rivercrest Country Club, and the UNT Health Center. Construction may impact the Monticello Neighborhood Association, Linwood Neighborhood Association, as well as the West Side Alliance. All right, as we mentioned, um, this will be in Council District 7 and 9. Um, the separation of these districts is on Bailey Avenue. So to the east is Council District 9, and to the west is Council District 7. So now I'll go through um, the streets and the, what we're going to be doing in those areas. First off, we have West 4th Street, where we will replace, be replacing the water from University Drive to Monticello Drive. West 5th Street, where we will be replacing the water from University Drive to Bailey Avenue. Hamilton Avenue, from University Drive to Virginia Place, where we'll be, we will be replacing the water. Now, solely on Council District 7, on this side. We have West 5th Street from Monticello Drive to Arc Adams Street, where we will be replacing the water. Virginia Place from Monticello to Potomac Avenue, where we will be replacing the water. Lennox Drive from Dorothy Lane to Potomac Avenue, where we will be replacing the water. Um, as for the sewer that we will be replacing, we have the easement between Monticello Drive and Hamilton Avenue from Dorothy Lane, 850 feet to the west. The easement between Lennox Drive and West 4th Street from Dorothy Lane West, about 683 feet. The easement between Lennox Drive and 4th Street from Potomac Avenue South, 195 feet to Potomac Avenue North, 195 feet, which is this area right here. The easement between Lennox Drive and West 4th Street from 280 feet northwest of the Potomac Avenue and West 4th um, Street intersection, which is this area right here, and the easement between Hamilton Avenue and Potomac Avenue from Lennox Drive to Monticello Drive. So why are we doing this project? Fort Worth um, prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on the available we have. That includes the water main break history, the leak history, the closed circuit TV inspection, which is where we put cameras through the line and um, we can see what condition those lines are in, the age of the line, 
the material of the line and if there are any left services on that water line, if it's a water line. Um, in this instance, the project is was created because of the past iron initiative the city of Fort Worth is implementing to remove and replace old deteriorated cast water mains um, with the freezes we've been having. That's why this initiative started. We are also replacing deteriorating sanitary sewer pipe. Um, we, some of the pipes in this area is almost 100 years old. All right, so now I'm going to be going through some of the frequently asked questions. Do you replace water service lines up to my house? So we replace the city owned service line to the property line. We also replace the water meter and meter box and will repair impacted areas on your property. We do not replace the water line from the water meter to your home or business. The service line from the water meter to your home or business is actually considered private plumbing. And in the event of leaks or repairs, those need to be done by a licensed plumber at the homeowner's <coughs> Will you need access to our property? This construction is in the public right of way or in utility easements. If the water department needs access to your property, we will contact you prior to the start of construction. Will our sewer service be disrupted? The sanitary sewer service not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line or the easement line. The sewer cleanout provides easy access in case of a backup or blockage um, where field ops needs to come out. It allows them to be able to clean the line. Um, the sewer line from the cleanout to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for approximately 15 to 30 minutes when the water are being transferred from the existing line to the temporary water line. And again, when we're transferring the services from that temporary water line to the new water line. And those switchovers are done during the day and the contractor will knock on your door and let you know when the water will be turned off when that occurs. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. Water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line, which is above ground. During the winter months to keep the line from, from freezing, customers should also keep their faucets dripping. In the summer months, a continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground water line. The bill for your water usage during this time um, while you're on the temporary water line is based on the average of the previous month's usage. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled selection day, the contractor will take the trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick them up. What happens if my property is damaged? So the contractor will take pictures and videos of the property before they start construction. We do also encourage you as a property owners to take pictures and video of your property before construction starts. The contractor will restore the property to its original condition. Will the construction affect my irrigation? The contractor will ask property owners to turn on the irrigation system so sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor has to tap irrigation line before construction starts when we're um, reconnecting those meters, and the contractor will replace cap or damaged irrigation systems. Are there restrictions on when we can water our lawn? Um, so the city as a whole has uh, watering days, so those requirements include no watering by irrigation systems or sprinklers between 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, water by, watering by handheld hose, drip irrigation, or soaker, soaker hose is allowed at any time. And um, the three irrigation systems free schedule um, with assigned days for all water customers. And that can be seen on the right side of the screen. We have, well, we have Monday, no watering allowed. Tuesdays and Fridays are for non-residential sites, such as apartments, businesses, parks, and common areas. 
Wednesdays and Saturdays, even number of residential addresses and Thursdays and Sundays, odd number of residential addresses. Timeline. So we are still in the design phase. Um, the next steps will include the, the conclusion of the design. We need to finish out that design. There's still some surveying that needs to be done in the area um, in District 9, specifically um, east of Bailey Avenue. Um, then once the, the design is complete, we will be advertising for bids for construction. <laughs> and once we open bids, we'll um, choose the lowest responsible bidder and go to the city council for approval and award of the bid to the contractor. We will then um, hold a pre-construction meeting with the contractor inspector and everyone else involved with the construction of the project. We will then hold a construction community meeting, which Sally will be mailing out invites again for that um, community construction public meeting to update everyone that's impacted by the project. And then construction will begin, which we is, expect to start construction probably about December of this year. Where can I get more information? So the progress will be updated on the city of Fort Worth website at the link you see above, or um, you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put the project number 103419. Again, that number is 103419 in the search bar on the home page, and the project page for this project will come up. The link to this video, the project map, and the project summary and frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. Um, here's my contact information again. That my name is Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager for this project, and my number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is brenda.oropesa at fortworthtexas.gov. Um, here's some emergency numbers if you need to report an emergency or non-emergency. Um, you can call our Water Call Center. It's open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday. And that number is 817-392-4477. And if you have an emergency, a water main break or sewer backup, you can report that 24 hours a day at that same number, 817-392-4477. 392-4477 and select option one. Or you could download the MySW app from the App Store or Google Play, where you can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. Um, again, that is the My FW app from the Apple Store or Google Play. All right, thank you. I'll um, hand it over to Sally to see if we have any questions in that chat. I don't see any questions in the chat. If you guys want to um, unmute yourselves one by one and ask any questions. Okay, RJ, do you have any questions? Uh, Brenda, I yes, have yes. one question. This Carl Komatsu. Go ahead. Oh, um, some of the locations that you indicate in the right of way used to be the old uh, alleyways and in Monticello there's a number of them ours included we're in the far west uh, uh, Lenox and 4th Street leg uh, a lot of those have been uh, I guess <laughs> through time uh, claimed or built over with fences and walls that uh, uh, in our case along that entire 
line between um, Lenox and Fourth Street. Uh, sometimes there's no right of way. Uh, sometimes there's uh, maybe a foot or two left between people's fences. Uh, the best I can tell is that uh, there are telephone poles, so there's um, lines going there, and I can guess where the old alley and right away used to be. Um, do you have any preliminary design information in terms of whether uh, the lines were located originally in the center of the right of way or one side or the other? I think they finished survey. I don't know if Angel's on the line, but I think with this line, if I recall correctly, we were thinking of doing um, a pipe enlargement, which would um, be less, it would be more minimal disruption to the area. Um, they would only need to really Ask as a property to install those clean outs at the property line, if I recall correctly. Um, is Angel on the line, Sally? I can't really see the screen. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm here. Um, yeah, so we, we have done a survey on that area. We've tried to identify, you know, any kind of structures or anything that fence lines and anything else that we can to. Uh, there in the in the area that we'll be working, um, we've used what we have available surface features as far as manholes or cleanouts where we could find them, and records to best try to identify the locations of those lines. Um, and yes, yeah, like Brenda said, for the most part, um, this this will be going in by pipe enlargement or, or trenchless. Um, so we don't anticipate a whole lot of service, a surface uh, disturbance. And the only locations where we'll have to go back through, and this will be on an individual yard basis, is going back to reconnect services. Um, and so, uh, but, but that, that's something we're going to have to, I guess, identify in the field. Every residence has their their uh, service connecting at different points along that line. We'll have to identify those on a case by case basis and to reestablish yeah. the connection. And any fences that are taken down, um, they'll be put back in place where they were before. So we won't be trying to reclaim that right away or anything. It's just going to be um, going back in to reconnect those services. And we sure. will be coordinating with um, the utility we submit once we have our. Um, we have 30% design, but once we have 60 and 90% design, we'll also be submitting that over to all the utilities in the area. So they're aware of the work we're planning to do and if we need to um, coordinate with them. Right. Well, I don't envy you, but appreciate the task you're trying to do. So thanks. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Brenda, it's David Hendricks. Hi, David. Hi there. Uh, thank you for a good presentation and also for communicating with me by email last week. I still have a quick question. There, apparently, the easement between Potomac Avenue and Hamilton is where a new sewer line will be put. And then that connects with something that's going on on. Um, I guess it's 4th Street and the project crosses Potomac Avenue. Is that sewer line and will uh, that involve digging up Potomac Avenue or will the sewer line be improved by sort of tunneling through it and putting a new line in? Um, the specifics, I don't know if you're yeah, on. That, that, that's right. Thank you. You've identified it. Um, this one, I believe we're going to try and tunnel that area. Okay, so and that is a sewer line replacement, not a water line replacement. Yes, yes, that's correct. correct. There is a sewer okay. line uh, running through this property, which I believe we will need to obtain an easement from these property owners. Okay. Um, 
I don't think but, it yeah. affects me because, but it, it does affect a couple of my neighbors, and I don't know whether they're aware of it or not. But uh, regarding the uh, the sewage line that's going in the easement between Potomac and Hamilton, will that in, involve tunneling, or will that involve getting equipment into that re relatively shallow easement area between my backyard and my neighbor's backyard on Hamilton? Um, I think this one we were gonna see. Oh. We were gonna try and pipe first this line. We have to um, kind of coordinate with the contractor more on this specific line because there are several pools in the area, and we need to um, check to make sure that will be possible. You're going. Did, I didn't understand. You're going to pipe burst. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's called pipe enlargement. It's Kind of, we put the new we. Uh, to, so it's kind of like the new pipe first, the old pipe since the new pipe is larger. The existing pipe is, I believe, six inches and was installed um, in the 40s, and the segment was installed in the 20s. And it'll kind of push the the new pipe will break the old pipe in place. That way, we don't have to dig up the yards or anything well, like I know that. that so. Well, thank you. Thank you for that explanation. I, I know that you're going to do the best you can to make this a big improvement without too much dis disruption. And I'll sign off. Thank you, Brenda. No, no problem. You have a nice night. Anyone else has a question? You've got Doug, John Kellogg, Kyle, Leah. You've got a Calberly. Did we answer all of your questions? Uh, this is Kyle. Okay. Uh, I, I am on Linux, and uh, I know there's water work planned, but uh, the sewer work is uh, west of Dorothy, which is outside of where I live. I guess my question is, is the fact that you're not working on the sewer between Lenox and Forth east of um, Dorothy, does that mean I'm good to go and I don't have to worry about that thing? <laughs> so I, I believe that the sewer line in 4th Street had been replaced under a previous project a few years back. So that segment between on oh, north of West 4th Street to the east of Dorothy Lane uh, is not part of this project and has already uh, has already been replaced at this point. Yeah, I know 4th Street, oh, three or four years ago was torn up quite badly. Uh, but I didn't know they worked on the the sewer, but if they did, that's great. I just, uh, I actually contacted the Fort Worth office when Atmos started on the gas line work here, thinking that, well, maybe they, they were going to tear everything up. They could do it at the same time, but the feedback I got from the the uh, manager was that, as you said, the sewer line uh, between Lenox and Forth, that is east of Dorothy, had already been addressed. So I guess that's consistent. Yes, I believe they did pipe enlargement on that project as okay. well. Okay. And that may be why they, I didn't recognize that anything happened, but I know they didn't, I know they didn't reconnect me. So that's, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, well, that's uh, fine. I, I'll double check that um, to make sure it's been addressed. All yeah, I know is, yeah, we've only been here about seven years. We um, 
we demolished the old structure and put a new house up. But in talking to the neighbors who had been here for a number of years was the, um, the sewer system was very uh, problematic. I do know uh, a neighbor that's about four or five houses further east of me on Lenox uh, had quite a bit of work done maybe six months ago. Um, so yes, I believe that um, a work order around here where they, they reconnected someone here. That was yes. pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that line's um, almost 100 years old, so it's in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Yeah, see, we're, I'm to the west of where your cursor is. I'm three houses east of, of Dorothy. Yeah, yeah, right in there. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it then. <laughs> <laughs> we will be, yeah, we will be replacing that water line. Yeah. On it, yeah, so um, right now, and I know y'all have had like three breaks there in the last year. It's been been very problematic. So when the new line goes in, is it still going to go on that side of the street? Um, I, it's going to be about seven and a half feet from the right of way. Um, it'll go, yeah, it'll be on the same, okay. same side. Of so, uh, okay, okay. Is it going to go on the yard side of the street or is it going to go in the street street? It's in the street street. So we will be replacing the street. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Brenda and Sally. This is, sorry. Oh, this is John Kellogg. I've got a commercial property on 5th Street on the north side. Uh, I assume that y'all evaluated the sewer line that runs down the alleyway between 5th and 4th and decided it does not need to be repaired or replaced. We have a little bit of backup that goes in our building every now and then. I don't think it, I don't know if it's, it's the city or if it's our line that goes out. We've replaced our line and so far we haven't any problem, but I don't know if that was a uh, a stop gap fix or if that's going to help out, but I, I assume you all evaluated that sewer line. Yeah, I can double check for you. Uh, do you have an address or do you want to get the area? I don't know. I'm 31. Talk. Yeah, we're in between University and Bailey on 5th on the north side of 5th Street. University. And we're on 5th so Street. Yeah. Yeah, we're right the there. Third. In, and one of my long-term concerns is if all the commercial development continues to go on, it may put a lot more demand on those sewer lines. Yeah, for sure. You know, I'll, um, yeah, just as more restaurants come in and more commercial establishments and make a more more impact on that sewer line. I'm not sure it's been evaluated at this time. I'll check on that because we did. Um, we were originally planning just to replace east of Bar. Bailey Avenue. Were added. Um, by an amendment where since this is also cast iron, we decided to go ahead and take it to University Drive. So I can check those sewer lines. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Brenda, can you go to slide 18 that had the uh, website page link? There you go. So this is the page. Um, if the weather is good tomorrow, we should be able to get this video, the summary FAQs up on that page if you want if, if you want to listen to it again or just see it in writing. And, and make sure, please make sure you tell your neighbors um, and business associates so they can see the information. Do we have anybody else who wants to ask a question? We've got RJ, Doug, uh, Leah, and T. Calverly. And we will also be holding another um, public meeting once we do have a contractor on board. Um, so we know where we're starting and kind of what the construction plan is at that phase of the project. Okay. Brandy, do you have anything else to add?
Okay, we're going to end this meeting, but make sure you check that website page. Uh, it, it'll all be up by either Friday or Monday. Thank you, everybody. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.